Oh man, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. Uh, yesterday, I actually created a video where we machined Inconel 718 on the Tormach, right? Why is that crazy? It's crazy because the Tormach has 1.5 horsepower and Inconel 718 is a gummy nickel-based material that is like used in the aerospace industry that people struggle with right so you're not supposed to be able to cut it on this machine but you know what i see the machine every day i love the machine right it's not it's not the dmu 50 which you know costs hundreds of thousands of dollars it's not the the makino way down there it's an awesome machine that you can put in your garage and put into a regular outlet and at the time that i got it this machine was less than fifteen thousand dollars and like everybody's talking about the skills gap and they're like like hey we need to get people excited but who can afford hundreds of thousands of dollars right this allows people to work at home depot machine in the garages on the weekend go to academy.titansofcnc.com our academy and learn the trade and come in that's how you're going to solve the skills gap right by bringing an affordable machine that's why we have the machine on the floor and I pass by it every day as I go to the bigger machines and cut these big pieces of material. And I thought, you know what? I wonder, everybody's at home, like locked down. Let's actually have some fun. Let's see if we can actually machine Inc. and L718 on the Tormach, okay? So I put in a ceramic cutter from Canon Metal, popped it in there, went high RPMs. That's what you gotta do. You gotta go high RPMs, right? And then I fed it boom and it actually stopped like boom i could just feel it and then i did it again at 100 inches a minute like boom and it stopped and then i looked at everybody and i said look it's all about tooling. It's about creativity. Let's go get a Harvey 3. Let's solve this problem. Let's drop our surface foot, our chip load. Let's come in and kiss it. And we had success. But now the video's out. And everybody's like amazed and it's blowing up and it's awesome. But a lot of people were wondering, why did it fail? You know why the ceramic failed? It was straight at me. It was straight at me. I was having fun. I wasn't being super serious about it. I just wanted to test it and show that you could actually run it on this. And then when I couldn't, I actually went to the Harvey and actually did that. And although we did have success, today I just wanted to come back. I wanted to do it again, use my head for real, and actually Think about the application because I know that we can be successful on this machine. All right, so here we go. Quarter inch can of metal ceramic cutter. Oh, let's make this happen. One thing that we have to keep in mind when actually machining Inconel, there's probably no better efficient way to machine Inconel than ceramics, right? So if you got the right application, it's definitely something to look at. 
The cool thing about ceramics is when you look at surface foot, so a Harvey 3, you're going to be down at like 125 to 200 surface foot. With ceramics, you can go up to 500, 600, 1,000, to over 3,000 surface foot and beyond. Now, why is that? It's because the ceramic end mill is chemically inert. So it doesn't recognize the heat. So even though you see a ball of flames, it's like cool under pressure right there, doing its thing and making those cuts, right? If, if you got carbide, carbide comes into the inconel and it creates heat. And the faster you go, the more heat that comes up. And there is a limit to how much heat you can actually put into that partnership, right? The tool and the material. So once you go up to a certain level, instead of increasing productivity and efficiency, you decrease it. You wear your tool and you eventually break it, wasting money. So carbide machining and ceramic machining are completely different. All right, so ceramics have good strength. They're tough. They have thermal shock resistance, right? So you automatically think you have to use that, right? No. It depends on the application. If you're profiling nice and deep, going around crazy parts, then maybe you want a Harvey 3 so you can go three, four times D. You can go tricordial milling and you can get after it and your tool will last for hours. One thing that you see in ceramics is, you know, you have insert cutters and you have end mills and end mills usually have smaller flutes. So when it comes to milling, they might be efficient in one type of part, but maybe not as efficient in another type of part. At the end of the day, it comes to your material removal rate, your MRR. So you gotta look at that. You gotta look at due dates. You gotta look at when you need to get parts done. You gotta look at the type of machine that you have. If you have a crazy machine and you have advanced capabilities where you can run five different tools and run them all as tool one, and you can run the first one for a certain period of time, bring the second one, the third one, the fourth one in, therefore making the entire process efficient, then ceramics is amazing. If you have a machine that is not a high performance machine and you need to cut intricate grooves and different things, then maybe ceramics is the key. But as I said, there's other applications that simply don't make sense, all right? So you guys be the judge. My job here is just to have some fun to teach you guys manufacturing, show you what we use, show you surface foot, chip flow, depth of cut, boom, 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 and open your mind to the possibilities. Oh, that was awesome. The Tormac with ceramics, machined Inconel 718, boom, 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 all the way to a completed part or a completed tool path. I'm excited. I'm glad we came back to do it justice, right? A little bit smaller tool, less pressure, service foot on the high end for this machine, and we had success. If you guys wanna learn more about ceramics and carbide end milling and everything, I put some links down below. The Tormach put that link down below. Keep watching the video, subscribe if you haven't because we got more knowledge, more education, more fun coming your way. You guys have a blessed day, I'm out, boom.